Now, if you watched a training video on print presentation options and we talked about handouts, well, you can customize your handouts a little bit more if you want to export them into Microsoft Word. I mean, Microsoft Word is a word processing program. So to do that, you want to come up here and click on the Office logo button, come down to Publish, and then go over up and click on Create Handouts in Microsoft Word. Click on that click and drag this up so we can see it better. You can select any one of these options. So if you want your notes next to your slide, if you do have notes for each slide, they'll be just to the right of the slide here. And then you can have blank lines next to the slides. Remember, that's the handout where you can print this. You can go ahead and hand them out to people so they can write their notes next to the slides. Um, and they actually have lines printed for them. And then the other options, notes below the slides, blank lines below the slides. Like I said, a few more options. Now, you got two choices at the bottom. You can actually paste this into Microsoft Word or, or paste link, meaning that any changes you make in PowerPoint here will link and automatically update in Microsoft Word. I'm just going to leave it as paste and say that I want to go ahead and just select blank lines next to slides, click OK, and then just give it like, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, depends on how many slides that you actually have to uh, convert or paste over into Microsoft Word. And then once it pulls up, hey, there we go. Now I have my slides and the lines next to it. I can go ahead and click print. Again, the whole purpose of putting it in Word is to customize this a bit more. So if you want to type some text over here, delete the slide numbers next to it, add some more lines, maybe put in your own images, some more notes, or even have a title page, put your logo in, all those types of things. Oh, one thing you want to keep in mind, if you try this and instead of your slides, you get something like this, a little code that says embed PowerPoint slide, it means that it's in the code view. I'm not talking about your paragraph group in Microsoft Word. And if you want to learn more about this, again, you want to watch my Microsoft Word training video level one. I'm not talking about the paragraph group, show hide codes. It's not going to change a thing. I'm talking about a different show hide code. And the shortcut key to reveal those codes, to reveal a different type of code, is your Alt F9 key. So if you hold down the Alt key and you hit F9, it'll bring your slides back up. Alt F9 actually reveals the code that says that, hey, this template 12 is an embed picture or in this case an embed slide. But to get rid of that because you want to see our slides, hit the Alt key and F9 or toggle between those two until actually you get the slides that will appear before you. It depends on how fast your computer is because if you hit F9 and you're like, ah, oh, this isn't working, give it a few seconds or so so it can catch up and process this and actually show all your slides here. And then, of course, when you're done, be sure to save your work because right up here in the title bar, it's document one. It doesn't have a name and it doesn't know where to save it until I actually click on the save button and then it's going to ask me two questions. Where do you want to save it? And then what's the name you're going to give it? I'm going to go ahead and close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.